Fam, what's good? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Nick Saban was irked, agitated today by a reporter who asked him about Jalen Milrow in the game plan. Nick Saban said, what do you want me to do? Call up Jimbo Fisher? Give him the game plan? It continues to happen. People asking Nick Saban about the game plan. He's obviously not going to do it, right? Jalen Milrow had a stellar game against Arkansas. 165 yards. I want to get your take inside the comment box. What do you think about Jalen Milrow and his performance now that you've had a couple days to digest it? Nick Saban also talked about rat poison once again. And he said that last year, Texas A&M had lost just before the Alabama game. Alabama was the big favorite going into that game. And then Alabama goes to College Station and loses. Talked about rat poison once again. William Anderson talked about facing Jalen Milrow at practice. And he also talked about focusing in on Texas A&M. Remember, he said, when we get to that game against Texas A&M, that is what we are going to focus on. He said that back in SEC media days. The time is now. Bryce Young, in terms of an injury update, looks like it's day to day. My biggest takeaway from Nick Saban and his update on Bryce Young said that he's had a couple of these AC sprains before and that it's day to day. So I think when you look at the injury overall, it looks like it's nothing to be worried about. I think it's day to day. And I think most importantly, Alabama has a quarterback that can step up if Bryce can't go against Texas A&M that is of the caliber that Alabama needs to facilitate its offense. Let's talk about that Alabama offensive line, a group that we haven't talked enough about thus far. What you're looking at right here is the pro football focus grades. Now the box on the left, now the box on the left, you have JC Latham, Tyler Steen, and then as you can see, offense means total snaps. So let's just look at JC Latham, for example, on the box at the top left. 90, 299 total snaps. Tyler Steen, 298 snaps. And on the far right box, you see the pass blocking grade, 85.2, 81.1. Anything over 80% in pro football focus is phenomenal considering the higher grade count. So we want to look at grades that are over 200 snaps right now. So let's look from J.C. Latham to Emil Ikior. And you can see on the far right, it shows their pass blocking grade. So Darian Dalcourt, 225 snaps, 71.5 in pass blocking situations. 81.1 for Emil Ikior. Javon Cohen, 71.3 with 177 snaps. Give me your take on this offensive line as we've continued to see some progression. I think the tackles have done a really good job thus far, and I think they really played great against Arkansas. Alabama, Texas A&M week. We're going to have tons of coverage coming your way on Bama Insider. Alabama is a 20-point favorite. Again, rat poison, right? Nick Saban doesn't want to be talking about the game plan. He doesn't want to be talking about rat poison. He wants to be focusing in on a quality team coming in to Brian Denny Stadium. Alabama now number one in the AP poll and the coaches poll. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. If you roll tide, then hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe.